Hello, welcome to my video for how to use image overlays and this is going to be targeted towards Aura players who use scales. So you might find yourself in a scenario where you want to use a set of scales but they're not compatible with your face or your body textures. So in vanilla, it looks all good, but if you turn your sculpt on, you'll see that the next scales don't quite match up because they're still using the vanilla layout for the scales. And also you might find that, let's say you use a body texture, like a body blush, and that also overwrites everything. So this guide will be split into two parts, one for face, one for body, and you can then choose if you need to do one or the other or both. So I'm going to start off with the face first. I'm going to go scaleless for the face because you need to be scaleless for this to work. And I'll just choose makeup too because that's the one that I like. And when you're done being scaleless, then you can make a new mod. I'm gonna call this Dragonborn Marie because that's the name of the sculpt and enable it, give it a higher priority and then next go into advanced editing. So you'll probably end up in file redirections so you want to be on import from screen and refresh character list and find your face number and make sure to open up this window as well to be bigger so that you can see all these material names and look for material face A. You'll want to expand that one and copy all of these files, the diffuse, normal and mask into the mod. So that is all done. Next step is going to be getting our overlay cutouts. So this is a website that I made that has a list of cutouts. You'll see that there are different types of scales here. So the ones on the bottom will already have PNG cutouts and will be a bit less work to do. So let's say download and you can download the entire cutouts folder or just whatever you need and make sure you have the base, normal, and mask, or just download the entire folder like this. And there are some exceptions that I've written out here, which is Dragonborn and male vanilla body scales, which have PSDs only. So over here, you can choose to download, for example, Dragonborn for females, and you can just download it from here and it will give you a really big zip file. <laughs> so once you've extracted all the zip files stuff, then you will open the PSD or Photoshop file in photop.com. So I'm going to press open from computer and this will be the extracted folder. You will go into scaled neck and then over here there is body or faces and we're going to use faces and choose your face number or if you're not an Aura and you're following this guide you'll want to use universal neck seam version. So I'm going to select F1 because I am a F1 Zayla. And the next is exporting the textures. So over here you can hide the notice and expand the base folder, hide all of this stuff that's irrelevant so we don't need the underlying stuff because we're trying to overlay. <laughs> so select whichever one you want to overlay. Um, I like Blood Moon but you can choose any of the other variants that you want. But I'll stick with Blood Moon. After you have the cutout, then you do file, export as PNG. I'm gonna rename this base because I need the names to all be different. 
and I'm going to save it into the faces folder because why not? <laughs> and the next is the normals. So if this is open, then just make sure that you hide it. You only need the cutout. File export as F1 norm. And then same with the mask. So everything else you do not need except for the cutout. So over here, this says vanilla, but actually it is up to you what you want to use. You might want to check your settings in the mod pack because if I look here, you'll see that I actually have shiny, which is the default option. So that means that you want to export the shiny version of the multi or they won't really match up correctly. So file export as PNG and I'm going to call this one F1 mask, save and save over here. And now we have our cutouts, we are ready to overlay. So I'm going to open text tools and over here, transaction status, you want to attach to penumbra and at the top, will be your newly created mod and oops I went a bit too far just select folder and then you'll see your three files inside of here next find your face so character face for me our female and one is for rain and all the 101s are for Zayla so Zayla have a 10 in front of the name, basically. So I am a Zayla, I'll be going to 101. If you're a Rain, you'll go to 1 or 2, you know, you know what I mean. So next is to go into face A over here. And then click the eye next to diffuse. You'll see your makeup here. And then next is to add overlay. And I'm going to find the cutouts that I exported. It's in the faces folder. So F1 base, save. Same thing with the normal. Add overlay, normal, save. And then the last one as well. Mask, add overlay save. And you're actually all done for the face now. If I go back to Final Fantasy, you will see that my neck and my face scales are automatically done already. That's the nice thing about the new text tools. So I will move on to the body now. So let's say if you have a body texture, like you're using Burb's Body Blush, and of course it will conflict even if you use the scaled version it's not going to have dragonborn scales so i'm going to swap this to scaleless and also probably good idea to go to biba plus change this to scaleless as well not required but good for peace of mind i guess as long as you look scaleless it's all good and this time for the body, I'll make a separate mod for this. So Dragonborn Body Blush is what I'll name it. Enable it, give it a higher prio as well, and going to reopen the advanced editing window. Refresh character list. And this time, instead of face, we will go to either the top or the bottom that you're using. Open it up and find our female skin textures, open this up as well, and then you need to copy the material, and also the base, normal, and mask. So all of them except for shader package. Next step is going to be the same as the face. I'm going to go to photo P, and going to refresh this, open from computer, and now we're going to go into the body folder instead and choose whichever one that you need. For me, it's Bebo Plus. So 
going to hide everything that I don't need and start off with exporting the cutout for the base. So I am a Zayla. I will go and choose Zayla for this one. Remember, you can also use any of the other color options that you want. So if I wanted to use the rain one, I can choose any of these ones. But I'll just do this one for now. File, export as PNG. I'm going to call this Bebo Base. And I'll save this into the body folder. And same with the normal map. You want to hide the bases. There's only one option. File, export. I'm going to name this Bebo Norm. And the mask as well. You want to hide all the unnecessary stuff and only have the overlay, then change to whatever one that you want. So I'm going to do shiny. File, export, PNG, Bebo, mask. So next step is we're going to go back into text tools again. Now we can close this transaction because we're done with it and attach to the body one. And then going to go and find the body. Remember, one is for Rain, 101 or the 10 version is for Zayla. So I'm going to go to the Bebo material and find the diffuse add overlay and find the cutouts that you exported. So base, save, normal, add overlay, save. And then last is, oops, sorry, mask, add overlay, mask, save. So it's actually really that easy. And if you look back in game, it's already applied. So I have the Dragonborn scales with the body blush. And that's it for this guide. It's very nice and simple to use text tools now with transactions. I hope that this was helpful. If you are stuck anywhere or have any questions, then feel free to ask me in my Discord. I will leave a link in the description. And I'll see you next time.